guys, this is Namasta here. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, welcome. I'm posting content every Wednesday, Thursday, Friday for now. Uh, make sure to subscribe to see more content. For today's video, we will be reacting to the best scene of The Queen of the Death, uh, which is a movie that, uh, a kind of a horror film that came out in 2002. And it became really popular because it was um, the last movie where you see Ali, uh, the singer Ali, uh, appearing as the antagonist. Uh, that was your last appearance on any project. So uh, it was quite popular because of that, And but it was severely criticized. It's not my favorite movie. There's some problems with the movie. However, this scene is just amazing. Um, well, let me tell you a little bit about the movie if you guys haven't seen it. It's about this um, legendary vampire who becomes a, a rock star in the contemporary world and wants to kind of expose the entire vampire world. And his music inspires the revival of the Queen of the Damned, which is Aliyah's character. And she basically wants him to become her king. Um, in the meantime, Lestat, which is the main character, uh, this vampire, uh, kind of grows and develops an attachment for this human who's actually studying him, I believe. Like I said, I haven't seen this movie in a long time. I think that's what's happening. Oh, before actually we get into the video, I wanted to specify this scene. It's an existing scene, but I'm reacting and re-watching the a deleted version because there's two version of the two versions of this scene uh, the film version which is a little bit shorter and then the deleted version the deleted version is much more preferred uh, there's more dialogue between the two characters more development for me and also um, it's called the flying scene is much longer there's more you will see it's much longer if you compare with the original uh, film version of the scene and I for some reason I don't understand why it didn't make it the longest version it didn't make into the movie because I quite appreciate the cinematic uh, part of it and the cinematic uh, characteristics dialogue uh, I thought it was a missed opportunity so in fact every time I watch the movie I kind of pause and then watch this deleted scene and then I go back to the movie I just prefer this version over the actual scene in the movie I really love her attire. Actually, I kind of resemble my style now. <laughs> so you come all this way just to return this to me. That's his diary. Of your heart. He's so sick. This movie he's done. I want you to show me what it's like. What what is like exactly? To be like you. I don't have time for this. Oh, the vampire has his time. Not this one. And I have nothing to share. I have something to share with you. I have this recurring dream that I'm a child in this big house filled with vampires and um, every night when I go to sleep I wish to God the same thing do you know what that is this time I said I'll have the dream again because in the dream it happened I'm almost like a shadow mystery you are the answer that's why I'm here I'm not afraid to die yes I'm terrified but I don't want some dream to be more real than my life no it's very powerful one you cannot live in dreams all right they have a good chemistry it may be painful still attached to your skin. I don't care. Do you trust me? Yes. I like the way she said yes. Then close your eyes. 
gentleman that this is an early 2000s kind of um, facts, but I found it so beautiful. And she's flying with him. And they almost kissed here. That was one of their main dialogues and they cut it. I don't understand. It's not even that long because they complained that it was very long. So that's why they cut it. Even the flying scene was very long. I really enjoyed watching it. it, it first of all, it, it put me on a suspense and it created a, a more attachment between the two. Um, and um, it was just beautiful, romantic, it was dangerous. I felt the danger in being around it, but at the same time, it felt an assurance that usually it's given by someone who you trust or you want to trust. Um, someone older than you, someone with more experience who knows more than you do. Um, and I, I just, I, I, I loved everything about this scene. And of course, the quality is not the best because of course, this is the original tape, it hasn't, it's not an HD or anything like that. It's from the early thousands, and, I, and again, it was shot. It was never really polished um, with the lighting and everything. But it's basically the same scene, but really these cuts made such a huge impact on the effectiveness of the of the scene itself. I, I found a, them very intriguing and very mess. I was very mesmerized by them. Um, so that's why I kind of picked this scene. And to be honest, I saw all the deleted scenes. Um, most of the deleted scenes were actually pretty important and all of them had some value that it, they should have kept all of them. I don't know why they cut them. But anyway, if you haven't watched this movie, I recommend it. It's more like a cult kind of movie, but really I think it needs to be explored. I think you guys need to watch it because it's really... It's a really beautiful movie, uh, it has some problems, but I definitely would recommend it to at least watch it once and so that you can actually appreciate the scene and the relationship because there's more in the relationship in other parts of the movie, like that. but this scene I think it's more imperative for their growth and their attachment. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching, um, make sure to subscribe, I'll see you guys next time, ciao!